Emerson Dambuzom Nangagwa has been Zimbabwe President Robert Mugabe's right-hand man most of his political life. He served as vice president from 2014 until his dismissal as vice president on the 6th of November 2017. Although rumblings between Mnangagwa and First Lady Grace Mugabe were contained in the party since 2016, everything changed after he took ill in August at a ZANU-PF rally and was airlifted to South Africa for treatment. Following that incident, he and President Mugabe contradicted each other, Mnangagwa saying he was poisoned, Mugabe saying he wasn't. This angered First Lady Grace Mugabe, who publicly called for Mnangagwa's removal. He actually wanted to raise a from the president. It is Mnangagwa's dismissal from both cabinet and the ruling ZANU-PF that brought out both the Zimbabwe war veterans and the army out of barracks, guns blazing. The current purging and cleansing process in ZANU-PF, which so far is targeting most three members associated with our liberation history, is a serious cause of concern to us in, this, in the Defence Forces. From these statements, it would seem President Mugabe had stepped on a landmine of his political career and the battle lines were drawn. Emerson Mnangagwa was born on 15 September 1942 in Shiva Shani in central Zimbabwe. He was in primary school when his family was forced to relocate to northern Rhodesia, present-day Zambia in 1955. In Zambia, he completed his primary school and enrolled for a building course, but he was quickly selected to enter Hodgson Technical College, where he was expelled in 1960 for political activism at the tender age of 18. After being expelled, he went into business briefly, but joined United Independence Movement Party of Zambia, where he was elected to the Youth League. In 1962, Nangagwa was recruited into the Zimbabwe African People's Union, ZAPU, trained in Tanzania and at the Egyptian Military Academy. When ZAPU members broke away to form the Zimbabwe African National Union, ZANU, in 1963, Nangagwa joined it, leading to his and other cadres' detention by Egyptian authorities who recognized ZAPU. Robert Mugabe secured their release and they returned to Tanzania. Upon his return in 1964, he and his group formed the now well-known Crocodile Group in Zambia. Nangagwa and the Crocodile Group fought the Liberation War on many fronts, traveling on foot between Salisbury, which is present-day Harare, and Tanzania. They smuggled arms, recruited cadres for training, and mounted roadblocks to terrorize whites. In the process, they deliberately alerted the media to their activities to draw attention from the Organization of African Unity, OAU. In December 2014, he became vice president of ZANU-PF and Zimbabwe. He continues to command a faction of ZANU-PF called Lacoste, a more modern version of the crocodile group of the 1970s. His run-ins with First Lady Grace Mugabe have resulted in her leading the Generation 40, another faction that wanted Grace to be vice president. From then on, allegations that Mnangagwa wanted to unseat Mugabe came into the open. The party comes first. First, whatever differences you might have, the party comes first. Two days later, Mnangagwa was removed from the Justice Ministry in a cabinet reshuffle, and the following weekend, Mnangagwa supporters humiliated the First Lady, causing the cars to tumble. I think he is also my president. I love my president. I respect my president. I will help him to make this country prosper. In no time, Mnangagwa had fled, saying he feared for his safety, but vowing to come back to lead ZANU-PF. Within 48 hours, it was clear who the Zimbabwe Armed Forces were behind. ZANU-PF has now made its decision. Comrade Emerson Ambuzo Mnangagwa is Vice President and Second Secretary of ZANU-PF, and his expulsion from the party be and is hereby 
nullified forthwith. Now President Robert Mugabe has resigned and Zimbabwe waits for Emerson Mnangagwa to take over as his whereabouts remain a closely guarded secret. Ntakwa Nangatani, SABC News, Johannesburg.